Ladies and gentlemen, the video I have been talking about for a few years now has finally arrived. The cars in this mini collection are from my childhood and teenage years. Also cars I found the past four years locally and in the surrounding countries since I started collecting again in 2017. And cars that were sent to me by friends, other YouTubers who I will mention during the video. As I've shown in a previous live video, I keep the carded ones in a bag and the loose ones in a blue box that you see in front of you. I keep them close to the door. In case of a fire, out of my whole collection, these will be the only ones I grab on my way out. We're not going to go by model, but by diecast brand for a change. And we start with Corgi. Only Corgi I have is this Volvo 760 Saloon. They also do the 245 DL station wagon and the P1800 made in Great Britain. So let's roll it out. There's a lot of diecast brands that did the Volvo 760. We'll see uh, quite a few of them. So we got lensed headlights, got uh, black tempo on this uh, short little piece of cladding on the side. No tempo on the back, it does seem to have a license plate, PH1 or I it says. Plastic base, left hand drive. Let's take a look at the interior, pretty basic but it's okay looking. Lens headlights are cool. So, Roll this one back in the garage. I also notice that the bumpers are metal, not part of the plastic base. So that's cool. Next up, we've got Zilmax or Zilmax Z cars, whatever you want to call it. Volvo 760 GLE on the base. It's got some kind of suspension. So no tempos on this one. Headlights are part of the metal body, but the grill is part of the plastic base, and so are the bumpers. A very basic uh, interior. Well, the seats are pretty much okay, but the dashboard is non-existent, and the steering wheel is even worse than the metal tombstone. Maybe that's what uh, Mattel is aiming for, that uh, that's what we're getting in the future. Probably from uh, Hot Wheels and Matchbox, something like this. Then we got Edo Car, a Dutch brand. This is from 1986. The casting is actually a Maestro casting that they, they used on the license. So we got this uh, grey one, um, made in Macau, 1986, Edo car, 760 GLE. So we got uh, kind of a tan interior, got some Silver paint on the on the side door handles and the protection. Chrome insert for the front. Black bumpers part of the base. Interior is okay looking. A little bit uh, wonky steering wheel there. And also got a white version of it. As you can see, they are kind of hard to get out of there. Many layers of uh, cardboard you have to open to get to them. So, same features. This one says 1988 on the base and it says 2001 on the box. And same uh, issue with the steering wheel. It's a bit too long. That's why it hits the, the driver's seat. And this is the actual Maestro version or 
uh, MC toy as it was called back then you can see of course the uh, resemblance obviously with the Edo car and the uh, steering wheel here is kind of bent on top of the seat instead of uh, kind of underneath but you know it's, uh, it's the same vehicle same style of wheels too staying with Maisto they also do the XC90 this is what a fresh metal card looks like this kind of a longer card I have a oh no that's the same uh, size card sorry I thought I had a shorter one never mind 2009 so no interior completely blacked out got black paint on the grill and silver paint on the headlights even though it's kind of a silverish vehicle gets different paint for the headlights and in the back we get the taillights done the XC90 badge and it seems to say I don't know does that say V8? Yeah, V8 all-wheel drive, cool. And also got a red version. So it's got the same traits as the silver one. Oh yeah, and it has the Volvo badge too. I did not notice that on the uh, silver one because it's kind of hard to see. There you go, now you can see it. Then we get to Welly. Welly also has the C30, by the way, but I don't have an example of that. We have this uh, newer model XC90, newer than the Mister One. I mean. So nice blue color. It's got the panoramic roof at the headlights that wrap around the corner separate insert for the grill or maybe it's part of the interior or the base I'm not sure uh, nicely detailed with the chrome around it and then the Volvo logo going across it's very nicely done tier wise looks good nothing to complain about it's got three rows of seats and in the back taillights Volvo name and badging this is a T6 yeah very nice model and then we get to the XC60 a few examples of that one um, this is a generic one this might be still glued to, uh, taped together I mean so I'll have to cut it open so it just says made in China on the base it's got a separate piece for the light bar on top fire emergency unit 911 fire department tempo on the front but no headlights or grill detailed and no details in the back interior wise well it's kind of okay but the uh, steering wheel looks funky with uh, kind of an extra part hanging at the bottom also got XC90, uh, XC60 sorry, by Dicky Toys. And these were second hand so they're a little bit rough but it's the only ones I could find. Volvo XC60, you got the Hippo logo from Dicky Toys. Some stats on the engine, the vehicle, made in China. So metal body plastic base. 
this does get the details on the front, the headlights and the grill nicely painted even the Volvo badge in the middle there nothing on the side and in the back the tail lights Volvo name XC60 and no, uh, no engine detail there got it recolored in this kind of goldish color but, uh, which has the same traits yeah kind of hard to see the Volvo name there but it is there also got a, a newer Volvo XC60 by Tomica So, scale is 164. This is in a metal flake white. Got suspension, nicely detailed in the front. Headlights, all the grills painted, the logo. Sides, you got the black paint around the windows. In the back, you got the tail lights. Volvo name XC60 and then it says T5 or T6, I'm not sure. I'm using some black paint here on the bumper and the lift gate opens up. It's a metal one, so that's cool. And uh, it's completely metal, so the window is painted on. So this got a nice weight to it. Let's see if we can see the interior. Looks okay. Siku did the V40. Two liter 16 valve, it says on the base. So generic wheels. Uh, bumpers part of the plastic base. Headlights and grill painted silver. Just a Volvo name on the back, license plate molded into the casting, and then the lift gate opens up also. And then I've got two Norev, and they are trucks or rigs, whatever you want to call them. Mini jet by Norev, the Volvo F89. So I found these at the uh, swap meets. Slightly metallic orange, metal bed, metal cab, and plastic base. But you know, no interior. And also got a, a yellow one which looks very much the same. This one still has the canopy, the black base. Um, but you can see on the base the, the tank, the air tank is switched to the other side and then this battery box or the fuel tank, I don't know what it is, is switched to that side. And there's some differences in the front too. The, uh, the headlights are a little bit different. This yellow one got a big Volvo logo and this one's got a small Volvo logo. The grill is a little bit smaller on the orange one, so a few differences. These are great finds. And then we get to Majorette. So we start with the Volvo 245DL. I don't have a mint version of it. This is a second hand. The only decent version I have to show you. 1 to 60 scale made in France. Metal on metal suspension. Got a two-tone interior, dashboard and steering wheel is black and then seats are uh, white-ish. Got the trailer hitch, 
mold it into the bumper lift gate opens up and the headlights seem to be part of the metal base and then the grill is a separate plastic piece probably part of the the dashboard it forms one piece with them so the model was made from 1976 till 1983 and uh, this color probably dates from 1978 1979 it was a little bit lighter in color in the first two years then in 1980 it uh, turned white and in 1981 till 1982 in red and 1982 till 1983 in green then majorette also did the 760 this is the first color in 1985 in this light blue 760 GLE 161 scale made in France so plastic base suspension this one's got opening doors white interior on this one it's got the lens headlights bumper and grill part of the plastic base and then it has a trailer hitch but uh, this is a second hand one from swap meet so the the actual hook has broken off but the rest is still intact and it's got a little bit of flea bite but you know it's the best the only version the best version I have then in 1986 till 1987 we got this silver one this is from my childhood collection so These came with the different style tempos too. Uh, there's some differences here and there. Some variations like you, uh, you also had with uh, Matchbox at the time. There was a green one from 1988 till 1989. I don't have that one. I encountered one at a Volvo meet once a few years ago but it was in the plastic blister and it was just uh, too much money for me did not want to pay that so I'll be looking for a loose version of that 1990 till 1991 this blue one I have a one-to-one -one scale version of this model I'm just checking if it said yeah Volvo 760 GLE on the back of the other ones too it did and the license plate French license plate black interior on this one so we got white interior red interior and now a black one eight dot wheels and then there was also a yellow one I don't know what year that was Midred also did the XC90 no idea of the year of this one either 161 scale so the XC90 was commissioned by Volvo and when they released the XC90 in Sweden when you uh, visited the showroom uh, to go look for an XC90 uh, you could get a Majorette 5 pack with 5 different colors of the XC90 I encountered that 5 pack once at Namak uh, I think it was 17 euro didn't want to pay that at the time but uh, I probably would pay that now to have it but anyways uh, the headlights are actually a um, plastic piece that uh, also makes for the engine that uh, are tampoed on and uh, interior is very nice very detailed uh, probably because it was uh, commissioned by Volvo it also has the uh, three rows of seats uh, the dashboard is very nice you can see all the buttons and stuff uh, in the middle there but uh, the steering wheel is even nicer you can actually recognize the steering wheel if you've ever sat in a first generation XC90 and it's got uh, the handles behind it for the lights and the uh, windscreen washer uh, wipers indicators so it's very cool you don't see that very often so you can you can tell this model was commissioned by the uh, the actual car make. It's got the trailer hitch, tail lights are done. It's got a sunroof. This was the second hand one too. Next one is boxed. 
this one I do know the year because it's in the it's on the box so right here March 25 2011 they started putting uh, the dates production dates on the cars in 2012 and just before that they started uh, a few years before they started putting stamps on the boxes not always just every now and then so we've got the silver one it doesn't have not get the tampons on the headlights so you just get the, the clear lights different style wheels and same tempos in the back daylight tempos also have a, a rig that also usually came with a trailer of course but I don't have an example of that so just says majorette a shell which, which means scale 1 to 100 on it it's got the Volvo name and a symbol in the grill there in plastic no interior on this one either then we get to tarmac Tarmo, tarmac also has um, civilian versions of this I don't have that it's the only one I have uh, pop race also does a premium one and possibly uh, some other brand too uh, the only premium version I have is this tarmac one 164 Volvo 850 race car made in China tarmac works it's got uh, rubber tires but uh, it doesn't roll so this is the Ricard Rydell racing version Got the lens headlights, obviously, and lens tail lights. It's got a roll cage in the back, uh, in the inside. I mean, And then we get to Hot Wheels, which also did a racing version. So I'll keep this one here for now. This is what the card art looks like Volvo 850 Estate. So this was released in 2020. I was very pleased to see this appear because uh, this is my favorite car of all time Volvo 850 Estate. So we've got a plastic base that uh, kind of goes up until the bumpers and the, and the side of the car here. Then we get the blue interior that makes for the this blue line here, the, which mimics the plastic that was on the real vehicle, and then the top part is metal grill is part of the interior piece too it's got sunroof it's got a, uh, a racing seat for the driver and then regular seats the rest spare wheel in the back so let's put these together Volvo uh, the Hot Wheels one is larger in size as you can see and of course not accurate when it comes to the tempo does have number 14 which was uh, the number of Jan Lammers so that is accurate also has the 850 and the number on the hood or bonnet and it has the clip the base that clips into the body so we don't get a post in the back so we're all happy about that too. Got recolored in this blue, which uh, I'm not that fond of. Well, the blue color is very nice, but uh, it's just kind of strange uh, to have this racing deco on a blue one, which was never raced in blue. So it's not realistic. And it's got the black base, 
um, that's the worst part of it if they would have made the base blue and mimic the um, the blue of the of the body the metal body would have looked so much better wouldn't have minded it that much I guess but they should have just done the, then done a, a stark blue version that would have been much nicer I uh, found color variation on these you can see this much lighter blue and this much darker blue and I took the tempos off to show you what it could look like more stark looking but still the black is an eyesore underneath left the 850 on then we got a red version in 2021 this is this is what the cards look like. The long card I got from Joe at XLT Offroad Bear on YouTube. So we got the headlights done and the indicators. Black and tear. So looks like the real one. The black plastic tail lights, vertical, and then Volvo 850 on the back on the lift gate. Very nice version. And also in a yellow. Again, got this from Joe, the long card. Same traits as the red one. So, put these back. And then it appeared in the Premium Car Culture Series Fast Wagons. So this also came from Joe. Volvo 850 is eight. It says on the card. This is the back. Well, you've all seen that. So let's open this up. This is made in Thailand in the Matchbox factory. So you can open these up the Matchbox way. So there's a part here. The blister that is not glued so you can just tear it open like that and just slide it out and that way uh, the, car the card usually does not get damaged that much if you do it like this you see it's, uh, you can hardly see it's been opened except for this little uh, piece of cardboard that's bent like that So let's take a look. Metal on metal. Real riders. So rubber tires. I like these uh, open hole spoke disc uh, wheels, I mean. It's also got the black interior. It's got the headlights. It seems to have the wipers painted on there, or is that just my idea? It's got the Volvo badge. That's nicely done. It would have been nice if there was some black paint in the bottom bumper there. Door handles painted and the uh, little repeater indicator there. The lights get lots more colors than the regular version. Volvo badge and an A850 T5R on the license plate and on the lift gate. That's cool. Yeah. Very nice, very happy to have it. Color difference between the mainline bright yellow and pale yellow, and also the headlights are quite different. So, yeah, very cool to have both of these. A new model by Hot Wheels as the Volvo Amazon, the uh, P220 <coughs> wagon, excuse me. Also got this from Joe, as you can see, from that same fast wagon set. 
So looking forward to mainline versions of this being released. It's got an unpainted base. It says the Amazon Estate on the base while it says Wagon on the card. That's interesting. Twenty twenty copyright, so new model of twenty twenty one. Real riders, of course. Very uh, lowered version. Resto mod. Sleeper, whatever you want to call it. So the grills are gray, part of the dashboard and the steering wheel. The seats are brown, so two-tone interior. Volvo name in the front there in the middle. Headlights and indicators on the corner. The small lights in the front. Chrome strip on the side with the the badge that would probably say P220, I'm guessing. Silver on the door handle, so no rear door. Chrome around the rear window, although the windows on the side don't get chrome around them. There is a chrome strip here, kind of the the gutter for the roof. The lights door handle or lift gate handle and then the cluster for the license plate lights also has a Volvo on it no print on the license plate on this one and no silver paint here on these hinges I don't know if they would be silver but I would kind of think they would be so only seats in the front and then a roll cage in the back. Uh, seems to be kind of reinforced in the middle there. I guess that's where the post will be for the well for the main lines, but maybe the main lines won't have a post either because the Volvo 850 Estate doesn't have it, so kind of a strange contraption there in the middle not sure what that is anyways very cool model and uh, let's hope the Volvo keeps um, Hot Wheels keeps releasing new Volvo models every year from now on that will be cool so staying with Mattel we get to Matchbox we're going to go uh, from uh, oldest to newest model so this is the first model Volvo model that Matchbox released in 1982. This is the Volvo cable truck that was used until 1983 and it was available in orange, yellow and red. 1 to 90 scale it says. Lesney England. We got two uh, of these cable things on the back that can roll bluish windows well not bluish they are blue grill part of uh, the plastic base probably mostly metal construction then in 1982 also we get the Volvo Zoo truck in red orange and yellow this was used until 1987 uh, came in all kinds of variations um, base different color the plastic base I mean the cage a different color the lines a different color so I'm trying to collect all of those I wish you good luck so this comes off it's got the closed side side of the cabin and then the, the door is in the back the lion and the lioness inside this is for my childhood collection so it's not mint but good enough I guess then in 1984 we got the uh, tilt truck with three axles I don't have a mint version of this I apologize 
Well, I have this uh, one in played with condition that I found at a, at a swap meet. And then in 1985, oh, this was used until 1999 by the way. Then in 1985 we saw the container truck. This was used until 2003, although uh, after 2003 there were still uh, promotional versions that were made. This is from 1987, so I don't have an early one. Uh, so this is two years into production. A promotional by Unique. This was a Belgian supermarket. It was uh, doesn't exist anymore. It's now uh, uh, Carrefour, the French Carrefour supermarkets took over and then they changed the name into Carrefour. Um, so the door opens up on these containers. It's uh, actually a sticker on the box, but you know, it's a cool one to have. Then we jump to 1991. Uh, this was a blister pool. Big Top Circus. I believe this was only... Well, I'm not sure if this was only available in the United States or not. This is actually uh, attached to the base. But I think this one was exclusive to the United States. This cool paint company in black. Black container and black uh, vehicle. So the big circus one was 91, this one was 94. 95 we got this one. This came from uh, David Johns, a twice die cast. A fluorescent orange with a yellow box. Get in the fast lane. And in 97, also from Twice Diecast, get this version. Matchbox Auto Products, so a yellow box and a black vehicle. And then I got this one from a five pack. I forgot to write down from what year it is. Also has the auto products name, but it's a different box. Uh, this one uh, has a Corvette on it, classic Corvette. This one, I don't know what that is. Yeah, my American friends will be able to tell me what that is. Kind of a teal color. It's about a second hand at swap me so it's also a bit rough. And then in 1986, Volvo released a 760 GLE. Until 1987, it was in silver. So we got a black metal base suspension, opening doors. No tampos front and back. As you can see it says Volvo here. It has a license plate but it does not say 760 GLE. There was a 1989 release that had the badge on there. From 1988 till 1989 we got this uh, what is called a plum color. This always came with the 760 GLE badge and it get, gets the headlights painted. This is for my childhood collection. This door uh, won't stay shut anymore. Then in 1992 there was an all white one with badge on the back and with amber windows. I don't have an example of that. That's a very rare one. And then in 97 we got this one. So this is a silver, almost a dull chrome. Uh, it's a Matchbox Ultra. So it's got uh, the drivetrain all painted up and the exhaust. It's got rubber tires. There's uh, three different wheel variations. This is, these are the five spokes. There's also six spokes and twelve spokes. Those are less common. 
still has the suspensions, got all the details on the side, painted in black, even the mirror is painted. Opening door still of course with the black here on top for the, the rubber. And then two-tone interior, black steering wheel, blue dashboard, grey seats with a blue insert, black shifter. So we've got some black around the windows. Completely decked out in the front detail-wise. And also in the back. When I found this I thought this was a custom but the seller told me these came in a two-pack and uh, it was uh, so like this with uh, yeah all the details on it strange the 760 GLE was not painted on so yeah very cool model very nicely done then in 1988 we got the Volvo 480 ES this was used until 1991. Came with or without the Volvo on the front here. But it always had the 480 ES suspension, grey metal base on this one. Painted taillight in black. That's how they came. Kind of a smoked plastic. So completely glass uh, rear door hatchback. A little bit Lightly smoked windows with the uh, seems to be grey interior. In um, nineteen eighty eight there was also a silver version with laser disc wheels and uh, green stripes. That was only available in the United States, so I don't have that one. In nineteen ninety seven we got the Volvo frame truck uh, with a stake bed in blue. From a tooth pack with uh, either frames in it or uh, straw bales. I don't have that one. And in 1999 we got the Volvo Aquarium truck in blue with the Grey Shark. Don't have that one either. Then in 2005 we got the Volvo XC90. This is the first release in uh, silver grey. It's uh, second hand so it's not uh, perfect. 164 scale it says. No suspension, it's got the saw blade wheels, no tampos in the front, it does get them in the back, tail lights and the XC90 badge. Base clips into the body, got two uh, sunroofs, two thousand and six got this red one. We got the same wheels, much more details in the front on this one, and a little bit more details in the back. Although the Volvo badge was also present on this one, but it's kind of hard to see just under the rear wiper. Pretty dark windows, of course, it's a black interior too. In 2006 also there was a super fast in uh, dark green but that was only available in the United States so I don't have that one. Also in 2006 there was this uh, Stars of Cars release. Uh, usually I don't open up my Stars of Cars but for this video I will make an exception. Here we go. I can always put it back because opening uh, the boxes or the blisters up in this way just put the car back in there and uh, keep this on the card it's the only one I will do that with it says dinky on the base uh, it has to do with some uh, licensing um, Mattel bought dinky and then to keep the name you have to use it so they put it on the base of these cars makes no sense but whatever saw blade wheels Metallic white deco in the front, but again different than the red one, which had some more details, some more tampos on the headlights, and uh, the the silver 
while well, this gets the black uh, grill which the red one did not have interesting details in the back it's got the same uh, traits as the red one a little bit lighter interior so we can take a look at that it's a far cry away from the majorette interior well the center of the dashboard it's not bad but steering wheel is a yeah not as near as good as the majorette one slightly tinted windows too then in 2007 we got this uh, greenish silver one new style wheels I like these much better only the headlights are done but they do get the extra tempos and in the back we get the same details the Volvo name is kinda smushed just above the license plate but we do get black paint on the wiper in the back which I did not see on any of the others so that's cool get at least that detail 2008 a blue version this uh, just fell off this one we get uh, detailed headlights and the uh, chrome around the grill and we get all the details on the back even the wiper in black and it's a very nice color and a very nice version yeah it's only missing the little bit of silver on the underneath the grill like we saw on the red one if it would have gotten that would have been the most decked out version of all of them and in 2010 there was a 10 pack version in a uh, kind of a metallic brown but that was also only in the United States so I don't have that one either then we get to the C30 now looking up uh, on the C30 online it's kind of a discrepancy one website said there was a first release in 2006 in red all the other website said the first version was this a silver one or yeah silver one in the 2007 so I don't know what's up with that until I found find a um, red one from 2006 carded I will have to go with the, with the others so 161 scale so we got a three-piece uh, construction like we kind of saw on the Hot Wheels Volvo 850 of course this was was earlier black base gray rocker panel wheel arches and lower bumpers that is part of the interior that's also gray and then the metal body so got the grill the logo in silver the grill in black and the headlights tempoed it's got a sunroof in the back the tail lights with some extra detail Volvo name on the license plate and again the gloss rear door or hatch C30 here on the left also in 2007 recolor and this gold So, same details in the front except for the silver on the logo which is strange because we got it on the silver one. Oh well so maybe that's not silver painted extra that's just part of the the body color okay I get it now silly me and then in the back pretty much same details as the silver one In 2007 there was also a uh, pearl white USA only release in a 10 pack so I don't have that one 2008 we got a black one I don't have it but I should be able to find it because it was not exclusive to the United States it was a worldwide release uh, 2008 version had a non-painted grill and then 
2008 we also got super fast luckily I have some American friends and David Johns got me this one so let's get this one out so it's got a gray base black interior and then this nice I don't know what this color is kind of a slate blue it is called super fast wheels no rubber tires but they're kind of special wheels it's got the uh, disc brakes behind it I don't know if it will show up but uh, this these are not closed wheels you see you can see through them and they have a disc brake behind with the um, they are kind of ventilated brake discs so they have kind of a line in them so that's a nice detail did not see that before uh, more details on the super fast so we get the fog lights we get the grill all done up and the headlights no details on the side it seems and in the back we got a Volvo on the handle to open up the lift gate C30 on the left and again on the license plate so just a little bit more tempo wise than a, a mainline also comes with a wheel variation this one with 10 spokes so then also in 2008 there was a modern ride 5 pack with this blue one in it so black base black interior here we got black rail with silver logo template headlights in the back yeah like the main lines got the details nice blue color some uh, metal flake in it this also came with uh, 10 spoke wheels as a variation 2009 there was a maroon one uh, in the main line only available in the United States 2009 there was also uh, some uh, 10 pack uh, versions a red one so just like the so-called first one in 2006 that I got not confirmed but with different uh, rims and a black one again in a 10 pack that got the grill painted unlike the 2008 release that did not get the grill painted and in 2011 there was a 5 pack version from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse in white with Minnie Mouse on the side and best friends text so then we get to the P1800S this one I also got from my friend David Johns uh, as a loose car first release in 2010 in red it's got the nice disc wheels got the chrome base so we got the chrome bumpers 161 scale it says nicely painted grill headlights and then taillights done with the Volvo name and the the lock for the boot or trunk and then the license plate cluster in silver a license plate lighting cluster I mean 2010 also recolored in this uh, nice blue color this one actually says 67 Volvo P1800S while it says 69 on the base that's interesting so same details in the front but does get the indicators painted which of course you can't see on the red one because you know, orange and red is kind of similar and it's even got the badge here on top so that's that's basically a top tempo that we get and then same details in the back but it does have a badge oh yeah this one did get the badge too did not see that so taillights even have some chrome around them so, very nicely detailed it looks great with the chrome bumpers 2010 there was a bronze version from the Leipzig toy show it was handed out to uh, visitors to the matchbox booth so only in Germany 
2010 also a blue chrome one from diecast blast also available in the united states 2011 lesney editions in british racing green also available only in the united states and in 2011 we got this mainline racing version this kind of mustard yellow no details front or back just on the side this one has a paint chip because I got this one loose too. It's the best one and the only one I have. Got the different ring color on the front and on the back. Red in the back and kind of a gold in the front. Interesting. And 2011 from the Classic Rides 5 pack. This white one. Kind of uh, similar to the Saint version, very nicely done for a five pack model. All the details you would want. You haven't looked at an, at an interior, but they're all dark, so. But my camera can cope with that. Yeah, looks okay. And there was a release in 2020. So this is a nine year gap in the five pack called Highway Speeders in Maroon. I don't have that one to show you. Then we get to the Volvo V60. I'm just going to grab my notes here, put them away already. 2060, this was new V60 wagon on the card. That's the extra, extra protector, that's nice, but still there's some that have some uh, rubbing here in the front. So no scale on this anymore. Nice, kind of a grey rims. Nicely tampoed in the front, everything you would want is done. And in the back, it looks okay too, the tail lights, Volvo name, it is on this black part and then the V60 on the license plate. It's got a post in the back in the, in the boot or trunk but it's kind of hard to see because it's got such small windows and uh, so I don't mind it that much honestly. Got a light colored interior so we can take a look at that again looks okay good enough for me. 2017 we got this brown version. This is the only one I found. The blue one I found several of, but this one not. So, metal flake brown. Same details in the front as the blue one and in the back. 2000. 19 we got this silver one in a five pack called Autobahn Express it's got uh, even yeah different gray rims than the than the blue one they look silver but they're not they're kind of uh, yeah grayish and this, these are not shiny so like the differences in these, you know, if you look at uh, the rims, the different ones, you can see kind of, I don't know, anthracite, is that what you call that? Silver and then gray, like that. Some variation, even though there's the same wheel. Again, same details in the front and in the back. Very nice model. And then the last one we saw so far was in 2020 and super fast. This one I got from my buddy Fex. Fex that on YouTube. Make sure to check out all of the other channels I mentioned in this video. It's got the True Grip tires. You know the other vehicles in that set.
comes with the box. So, plastic base, but it's got rubber tires with, uh, you know, different style rims. Same details in the front, but it's got extra details because it's kind of in a racing livery. A little more details in the back. This makes me think of the uh, the 480 ES, you know, the Volvo name on the white. Maybe that's a nod to this model, who knows. Doesn't have the, an opening part. Would have loved to see this uh, lift gate open up, even if it was a plastic one. You know, in the 80s they also used plastic uh, lift gates, so it's not, uh, yeah, not something new. And the reason why I left the 850 on the this blue one is also because of the uh, you know the model name being on this one. That's kind of what I thought of when I left that 850 badge on the on there and the 850 numbers on there. And of course the um, C30. That's kind of the successor of the 480. So it's got the same glass lift gate or hatch in the back. Of course, it did not have the pop-up headlights. But you know, there's limits. And of course, these um, at that time pop-up headlights weren't uh, considered modern anymore. So yeah, I'm very proud of this mini collection and uh, thank you to all of my friends who helped out with uh, getting a little bit more parts in the well, missing cars in the collection still got a lot of stuff to collect but hey that's uh, that's kind of the, the challenge you know that's what keeps us going and uh, if I had all of them what would be the fun in that just slowly gradually trying to complete everything and you know new, new stuff gets added hopefully every year if uh, Hot Wheels continues like that and Matchbox also with the P1800 uh, hopefully the V62 and maybe the C30 and the XC60 get re-released who knows um, only time will tell okay and then what I wanted to do just to round up I know this is a long video but hey you have to bear with me it's uh, one of my favorites if not my favorite I wanted to put all of the 760s next to one another kind of do a comparison well maybe not really a comparison but kind of so we got uh, these Let's take uh, maybe this one, doesn't really matter. And this one, so six different ones Corgi, Xylmax, Ito Car, Maisto or MC Toy, Adred, Matchbox. So, turn them around. And a look at the back of all of them. So, thanks for watching. Bye.